seconds from the state capitol. Luxurious comfort is within reach. At the Four Points by Sheridan Tallahassee Downtown. The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. Legislation to require dog tracks to report injuries to racing greyhounds will stay that way. A racing greyhound dies in Florida every three days. We need better regulations. As state senators announced their plan to end greyhound racing, the Senate president's wife stroked three dogs who were at the event. More than four dozen unhappy dog breeders also showed up. Extra security was brought in as a precaution, but not needed. Sponsor Maria Sachs was hoping to make racing optional. Those dog tracks that are losing money, they don't have to continue to race. But they'll be able to operate their business in a business-like model. The breeders have been fighting to stay alive for more than a decade. Florida is home to 13 tracks that still race. The breeders and trainers say it's in their best interest to take care of their animals. They blame the tracks for injuries and deaths. Still racing advocates say gaming remains popular. $88 million was bet on live greyhound racing last year in this state. $88 million. Track owners had hoped to offer slots and more under a major expansion of gambling that was on track for this year. But with the expansion dead, they're hoping to shed live events, which are less popular than card rooms. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Massalinda reporting.